the Mackey Mansion. There was a lot of men mining in Virginia City, Nevada, but there was one man in particular named John Mackey. He was born in Dublin, Ireland, and then later moved to Virginia City, Nevada in 1859. And while he was there in 1859, he had George Hurst construct the Mackey Mansion. Mackey and three other men dealt in the mining stocks and operated silver mines on the Comstock Lode, and in 1873 discovered the great ore body known as the Big Bonanza. They made as much as $3,876 per ton, and in 1877 nearly made $190 million altogether. So, Mackey became the richest man in Virginia City. Also in 1866, John Mackey married a woman named Louise Hungerford. They also adopted a daughter named Eva, which is interesting because they have had many reports of activity of a little girl spirit that likes to mess with people. <laughs> There's also been reports of a tall shadow person that tries to frighten people for the fun of it. <coughs> and some people were traumatized from that spirit. People report apparitions, voices, footsteps, objects being moved, people getting touched, and now soul seekers are here to see if we could experience what has been reported in this location. Stay tuned and you'll see for yourself. I will also have to note that this is Violet who will be accompanying us as a guest that claims to be a medium. She is here to maybe give us some insight to what is going on with these spirits. At this moment Dante and Violet just left me in the Mackey Mansion all by myself. For about an hour and a half they will be gone while they are checking out the Silver Terrace Cemetery. Right now I'm just feeling out the location, then all of a sudden, this happens. Right now I'm in the Mackey Mansion all by myself and hopefully we're going to get some evidence because I'm about to start the SB7 Spirit Box because that's going to rile things up. It's going to make it a little active because of the energy that we believe is gets produced after we use the SB7 Spirit Box. So we're going to do that right now, see what kind of communication we could get. There's said to be three or four different apparitions that have been seen here. So hopefully, we get some good. Anyone in here? Found them. Found them. I found them? Is that what he said? I found them? And you man back here. And you man back here. And you man back here. You man back here. This EVP is very interesting because of what happens later during this investigation. How about a little girl? Is a little girl here? Are you standing right here? I heard the same voice. This is your room, Matthew. This is your room and I'm feeling you. I'm feeling you. What was 
Tell a breeze. And if you're here with me. Come on. You speak with me. What do you want to tell the living? Just now I capture a very large stringer which is said to be another energy form that is sometimes caught on camera in active hot spots. And what is interesting about this anomaly is that it comes straight out of the SB7 like it was trying to speak into the device, then left. Is there anyone in here? Touched? You're right there, aren't you? Yes. Who are you? Who is this? Tell me your name. Where is the corner located? Can you tell me? Who was that that was speaking just now? When I made it to the bottom of these stairs, I thought I saw something on the corner of my eye. And then later, after reviewing this clip, I discover this on camera. What is interesting about this partial apparition is that right when the camera is capturing this, the camera all of a sudden out of focuses as if whatever it was had some kind of energy emanating off it and somehow affected the camera. Dante and Violet are back from the cemetery, and after telling them what has already happened, we knew we were in for one hell of an investigation. Right now we're going to do an uh, ovulus session here in the uh, main living room of the Mackey Mansion. Mr. Mackey? Stay out. Tablet. Ta what? Tablet. There's a demon named Tablet. For those who do not know, Dante and I have come across this same demon when we were on the Steam Ferry Berkeley in San Diego, California. <laughs> Tablet is a demon named in the Mathers translation of Abermelon the Mage. He is one of a number of demonic servitors who operate under the authority of Arc Demons, known as Asmodeus and Astroth. Back when we were at the Rialto historical site, I believe we had some entities following us from previous investigations. So I asked this specific question. Since this is the second time we caught the name Tablet in a totally different location that is 540 miles away from the first encounter of Tablet in San Diego, does that mean Tablet is the demon that is following us? Or is Tablet just the pawn? 
and is actually Asmodeus or Astaroth that is trying to affect us in some way? Or is it just us opening the doorway to these entities and we just leave it open? So many questions to answer, and this is why we do this. Represent? Represent what? What do you represent, sir? Priest. Represent priest? What is interesting is that I did capture the word priest on the SB7 about 30 minutes ago. Yeah. Then it said priest. Five. Five. Yeah, I heard that one. Five. There's is there five demons here? Mr. Mackey, are there demons in your house? Are you legion? First. First. Mr. Mackey, this device gives you a voice, sir. Just come close to us and get in the device. Use your energy. Anger. Anger. I heard that too. Can you make a knock in this room? A definitive knock that we can hear? Frank. Frank? Your name Frank? Helpful. Helpful. Frank. Helpful. Helpful. You know Virginia City hands down. Frank. Frank? Frank? What about Frank? Who's Frank? Who is Frank? If James. James. Who's James? Dig. James Dig. What did he dig? Was he a miner? Guys, right now, here's I got Matt here with me. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, head upstairs uh, to a room where he said it was really active. We actually left him in here for like about a couple hours by himself, and he got a feel for the house and. He says that upstairs he was dealing with a lot of really strange activity, so let's go ahead and uh, check it out. Coming up. Again. Oracle. Oracle? Yeah. Is this something demonic? Because I remember on the SB7 it said the devil a few times. Who is here with us? James. James. Who's James? I'm gonna go with that room over there. It's just a room where you were filling stuff? It was definitely, most of it was in this room and the room over here. Alright. Uh, this is where I got touched over here. Right in between this doorway when I started switching the room. So Mr. Mackey here? Mr. Mackey? Come speak to me. Oracle again. Oracle, who's the Oracle? Go ahead, let us know you're in this room. That's all you have to do. I want to know who the Oracle is. Who's the Oracle? You. Uh, you. You. Who's this Frank? Frank, what are you doing here, man? What you doing here, Frank? Tall. What is interesting about this is that the shadow person that has been seen here has been reported to be very tall.
Violet and Dante are both feeling hot spots, which are very similar to cold spots when spirits are drawing energy from their surroundings. But what's different about hot spots is that it usually occurs when demons are the ones drawing the energy. I don't really ever get headaches. No, I'm getting warm again. What's this room? No, I gotta go. I gotta get out of this room for a second. <sighs> After they were feeling these hot spots, Dante starts getting these headaches out of nowhere. Could this be a minor symptom of demonic oppression? I got like the biggest headache on this side, man. Right when this is happening to Dante, Violet captures an anomaly that spins above him. Are we seeing this negative energy that is affecting Dante? Going upstairs again just because last time when we did this, when actually when I did it by myself, uh, most of the activity with the SB7 was upstairs and it was very active and got a lot of information out of it. Um, so we're going to head back up. Okay, I'm going to start it. You can see anything. It was at this moment where I saw a six foot shadow person right behind Violet. But right when I made eye contact with it, it dashed into Miss Mackey's room. Did I just see 
the shadow person that has been reported by other visitors? After investigating downstairs for about 30 minutes not capturing anything, we realized that the activity is being more active upstairs at the moment. So we decided to go back up. And we are also using the SB7 for the third time now just because of how many responses we kept getting. The heaviness in here is incredible. Matt, come over here, SB7 in this room again. It's heavy right now. It's heavy, bro, right now. And, and lay in the bed while you're doing it, please. Lay in the bed like you're laying here. Okay. Good. Okay. Are you mad that I'm in your bed? Get off. Get off. Why, why do you want me off? Can you uh, scare me off? Can I get off? Why don't you show yourself again? Can you come talk to me? I know you were talking to me earlier. Can you tell me why you are stuck here? Give us the answers to why this happened. Come on. There's Mr. Matthew. Uh, there's a lot of electricity in this bed right now. Really? Can you feel it? You feel that? Yeah. Mr. Matthew. You stick your hand out, you can feel it. Hey man, something's, something's just like... What? Something made a sound over here. Like something, something uh, like push this or kick the bed. Did you feel the bed move? Yeah, I thought that was you. No. no. I just moved in like this. No, there's something that doesn't want you on that bed, man. You hear it? You hear it? Yep. Keep on talking. Scare me out of the house. Scare me out. Go into the old bathroom. Huh? Go into that old bathroom at the bottom of the... Go into that old bathroom, bro. Some's telling me to go in there. Come on and speak to us. Hey, Jackie, are you in here? Matthew, don't speak to us, please. Don't speak to us. Get off me, what did he say? What did he say? What did he say? Get off me? What did he say? We have to review that. That's awesome. That was, was that you, Miss Matthew? Was that you? Wait. Whoa! What the fuck, dude? Good job! Good job! That's exactly what we want! Do it some more! Do it again! Do it again! Hey man, some push that thing behind me. Exactly what we want! Do it again! Open it! All the way! What we all just heard was a loud bang right behind Dante. And when we looked in the direction to where we heard the bang, we all realized the wardrobe was partially open. What the fuck, dude? Before the bang even happened, the wardrobe was completely closed. I even checked inside to see if I could debunk the wardrobe opening all by itself but I didn't see anything that could make that happen. Less than one minute after the bang happens, we capture a shadow figure on the right side of the screen. It is hard to see, so look very closely.
We just captured an orb that is definitely not dust because of the direct right turn it makes and it seems to come straight towards me. Alright guys, so pretty much uh, what we ended up getting, we ended up capturing a, a bang on the dresser right here and the door opened up a little bit on it and uh, in the other room when that was laying on it, it felt like something shook the bed or moved the bed. So the activity is pretty high at the Mackey Mansion. Well, this place isn't a joke. Yeah. That's what I mean. This is the couch that was being moved, so I'll sit on this. Is that you? What? That knock? No. It was like, knock, knock, knock. What Violet just heard was three knocks, which is well known for the mocking of the Trinity. This is just another sign for something demonic. Is that you? What? That knock? No. Yeah. Uh, Violet and Matt have already seen shadows that are dart around here. Earlier today, uh, we actually seen the uh, shadow of Miss Mackey behind her. If you guys will see the reaction, I know you guys will, you guys will see that in the episode. Uh, right now, we're in Mr. Mackey's room. We're just uh, gonna be quiet for like ten minutes and see what we can hear. Just fill out the house. Well, he's in front of you. Cool. Come sit next to me. He's standing right there. Do something. He's tall. Oh, remember tall in the uh, ovulus? He's a tall man around here. So he made a bang. Can you do something a little bit more? If I knew about the three knocks from earlier, I would have asked a different question because now that I told them to do more, I just gave the demon permission to do what he wants. He's still there. He's like staring you down. Cool. I don't. Which I don't way? Really, Which way? He's like, like he's standing right there. Right here. Yeah. He's standing in front of Matt. It's, you know how like birds puff themselves up? Yes. He's kind of like doing that. I think he was threatened by you sitting in his bed. Mm -hmm. He didn't like that. Can I go sit in there again then? See if he does something more extreme. He probably will. <laughs> he probably will. You don't like it. This is an interesting orb because you can see it go up to my face, hesitate, and then fly straight up and disappear. What are you going to do about it? Huh? I'm laying in your bed. Mr. Mackey, you're going to have to show him. He's laying in your bed. You're going to have to show him that you're the boss. Something's like hot on my back, man. Yeah. Something's hot on my yeah. back. Oh, look, look, shit. He's agitated. Look, 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 oh, sure. look, look at the back here. Can you record? It's on this side. Don't even fucking tell me. Yep, we got one. Oh, God. Don't even tell me, man. Yep. Oh, awesome. I need to take off my machine. Yo. What is it? It's a scratch. It's one big scratch. It's thick. Holy shit, man! My my hands is like moving. Look look at my fingers. What the hell? And uh, do something a little bit. Yo, more. something's tripping. Hey, yo, man, uh, fill my hands. Look, fill my right, fill my right hand. It's blurry right now. Hold on, it's gonna focus. Fill your hand. Is my finger moving? Yeah, the pinky it's switching. Go on. The energy just. This is crazy. Throw this me is out of crazy. The bed. Just throw me out of the bed. If you do that, I'll leave for you. I'll leave and I'll never come back. If you just pull me 
out of this bed. Here's my leg right here. Mr. Mack, you pull him out of the bed. No, you got one. One big, thick one. He didn't draw blood, it's just left a mark. What the fuck was that? That what it? the fuck was that dude that was the uh that was the uh voice recorder and it got the thrown. voice recorder i felt that energy whizzing by me he got thrown that was freaking awesome okay he's now no fucking he's way right to your right. no fucking yeah way, i man. saw it i saw it he's lift off. yo yo i uh, saw it lift off too saw it lift off uh, i already seen it okay hey man he's like really uh yeah he's I, I'm, I'm gonna go don't, downstairs don't bro. challenge okay i'll stay up here all by myself okay i'm gonna you know what man if he if he scratched me Okay, Mr. Mackey scratched me, or somebody scratched me. Not only that, I'm sitting here on the chair, something hits my leg, knocks the voice recorder clean off of my lap. Yep, and it was a far. It this is this far. is when you guys know this paranormal investigating stuff. This is not for, this is not a joke. This stuff is serious. This stuff is real and it will get you hurt. If you don't go about it the proper way, where's the voice recorder? Oh, did you lift it up? It uh, it, was it recording too? Was it recording? It's over here. What? I thought I saw oh, something it, come it, over here. Here? Yeah, I thought I saw it. Yeah, there it is. Oh, there it is. It, threw, it just flew freaking. It far. did. It, it flew did. From there all it, the I way. I had it here. From here. I was like this. That's a good five, six feet. I was like this. I had it just like this. And you're recording. I was recording you, yeah, and you so were yeah. like, pull me off the bed. Don't pull me off the there's bed. There's a good possibility there's an EVP on there, though. Yeah. Can't wait to review that. Um, I've never had this problem with my finger, man. This is just crazy. My fingers is just moving like crazy. Just here. I've already, I already got my pieces of evidence for the evening right there, man. I'm not looking to get fucking... You guys can leave me if you want. Come on. Want to go, Violet? <sighs> Yeah. Just let him, yeah. He, he, this is what he, he wanted to deal with that. So. You throw things, you scratch someone. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of this. Uh, I gotta get out of this house, man. I gotta go up. I gotta go outdoors. All right, guys. Uh, I've been to many paranormal locations, and, and this is the very first time I've ever been scratched. And this is the first time anything has ever got flung off of my body or anything. Uh, right now, uh, Matt's going to stay upstairs and uh, we're going to go ahead and be downstairs in the living room. UP session eight. I spent about 30 minutes in the room, but all the energy that we felt from earlier was gone. So we wrapped everything up for the rest of the night. After the investigation, I dug deeper into the research of this location because I wanted to find out who Frank and James were because their names were said multiple times on the ovulus. Frank. Frank. During my research, I did find some very interesting information. There was in fact a man named Frank Stacy that lived in the Mackey Mansion in the 1920s and through the 1940s, but died on December 4th, 1944. I also found out that there was a man named James Clare Flood who was actually one of John Mackey's business partners. He worked on the Comstock load with John Mackey. So, it makes sense that right after James was mentioned the first time on the Ovilus, it said, dig right after. Dig. 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 Dig